what many people get wrong about so-called boundary issues. A lot of people use the term boundary issues incorrectly, or they use it without really understanding the true nature of boundaries. The term boundary issues is almost always used to describe other people. That person has boundary issues. Now, that statement could mean two things. Accurately, it would mean the other person has issues setting and defending their boundaries. But in reality, most people are like that. Most people have boundary issues, issues with setting and defending their own boundaries. But many times, the way people use that term, boundary issues, to describe other people is inaccurate. They use the term boundary issues to describe the other person's inability to respect the boundaries of the speaker. An example could be, my girlfriend keeps eating all my peanut butter, but she never replaces it. She's got boundary issues. My girlfriend is always talking on her phone in the background when I'm having Zoom meetings for work. She's got boundary issues. Now, why do so many people use this term incorrectly? A couple of reasons. One, very few people are assertive. It's up to every individual to set, maintain, and defend their own boundaries to clearly communicate what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. So we like to imagine that the other person is just supposed to know what our boundaries are. We imagine there's some kind of universal set of boundaries that everybody just knows about. This alleviates us from having to do the work of setting and defending our own boundaries. In a healthy relationship, if your boundaries are violated, it's your responsibility to let the other person know that they violated your boundaries. And it's your responsibility to figure out what to do if you know that they know they violated your boundaries, but they still don't respect your boundaries. These are hard things to think about. These are hard things to talk about. So we externalize our boundary issues to be something about them rather than something about us. This relieves us of the responsibility of having to discuss difficult topics like this. You'll find the same structure in a lot of relationships that are not as healthy as they could be. People tend to blame the other person for any problems that come up in the relationship. The boundary issue is just one example of this very common structure. But if you want to maintain a healthy relationship, you're going to have to be able to talk about some uncomfortable topics. But here's the thing. Thing. This is the secret of boundaries that most people will never realize because they're not assertive enough to actually set boundaries. And that is if you clearly set your boundaries and you respond to any boundary violations with clear action, the other person will respect your boundaries. Just assume that other people will cross your boundaries unless you tell them not to. And once they do cross your boundaries, they need to know from experience that there will be consequences. But here's where the secret comes in. Once you respond to boundary violations with consequences and you're clear that the consequences are because of their boundary violations, they will almost always behave better. This is best done calmly and as rationally as possible. I told you before that I don't like it when you do X, but you did X anyway. As a result, I'm going to do Y, where Y is something that will negatively affect them in some way. What this is, is up to you and the nature of the relationship. But the bottom line is that people respect action. Defending your boundaries with action indicates a deep sense of self-value and self confidence. Two extremely attractive traits. So when you defend your boundaries this way, not only will their respect for you grow, but their attraction for you will grow as well. To learn more, please visit mindpersuasion.com. Check out the links below. And because we make videos almost every day, please subscribe so you can continue to learn more. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.